you know what we think is useless? New gear reviews. Why? Because the people haven't even used the product yet. So why would you listen to them about whether or not a product is good? So in this video, we're going to tell you about some appliances that we have in our van that we've used now for six months to a year and let you know how we really feel about them. First of all, we have our cooktop. It's made by Greystone and it's just a two burner induction jobby. It's pretty filthy right now, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to clean. That's it. You're just going to leave it like that? No. That's it. We've been using this Greystone cooktop since before our van was even fully finished. So it's been about probably 8 to 12 months and it's been great. We really like it and we're going to show you how we use it today. We're going to make some mashed potatoes. Are we? And I thought so. Sweet. Mashed potatoes. And I think we're going to make carrots too, but I'm not sure if we're going to use the cooktop or the oven for those. So the second appliance we're also going to review in this video is our Ninja Pro Air XL Foodie Amazing Mega Kitchen Stove. Oven. Not a stove. We are going to make a meatloaf in the oven. We haven't made meatloaf in the van yet, but there's a first time for everything. I ain't scared. We have used the oven to make several different things, including, but not limited to, bread, cookies, lasagna, uh, pork shoulder, pork shoulder, a uh, whole roast chicken, jerky, jerky. Mm. I'm sure there are other things, <clears throat> but it's been great, and we really like it. And there's a lot of different functions, so we're going to show you the pros and the cons of our oven. So we just made our own meatloaf mix. It's a mixture of ground beef, egg, cream, crackers, salt and pepper, and Italian herbs. And hopefully it's delicious. Perfect. Now our meatloaf is ready for the oven. So our Ninja Pro Air Foodie XL toaster oven air fryer combo dehydrator device lives here under our counter. It has several different functions. You can whole roast, air roast, air fry, bake, dehydrate, broil, toast, bagel, pizza, and reheat. So there's several different options and there's different rack settings. So if you're, if you have two different baking trays in there, you can hit two level and it will circulate the air so everything cooks evenly. You can change the time and the temperature. Inside, we have a rubber gasket all the way around the door, which is one of the main selling points for us because a lot of toaster ovens don't have this seal and so the air just kind of leaks out and we don't want our whole van hot from the oven which is still heats up but this mostly keeps the heat inside and is more efficient when cooking this door is also insulated too it's like it's got some thickness the oven came with two different racks which i believe is typical for an oven it also came with two cookie sheets a roasting tray a mesh basket for air frying, a muffin tin, and I think that's it. One of the other main reasons we got this oven is purely because of the size of the oven. I wanted something where I could still bake bread, which I typically use the Dutch oven for, and we can easily fit the Dutch oven in here on this one rack. So it has a large capacity. Like she said, we've roasted a whole chicken and a pork shoulder in there. I think the pork shoulder is like four or five pounds and it fit no problem. Also, this oven has seemed to stand up to the roughness of the roads that we've been on. We haven't really had any issues. It is a little noisy every now and then when you're driving if the rack kind of jiggles. But that's really the biggest complaint that we have about it. Um, it hasn't fallen apart, it hasn't fallen out, it hasn't fallen off, it hasn't broken. 
So I think we will bake the meatloaf. I don't know what temperature. Let's do a 375. And we'll start at 25 minutes. And it says that I should be cooking on rack level 3, which it counts up. 1, 2, 3. You can't really see the numbers, but they're there. One, two, three. So I'll put it here. And then it just has to preheat. And then we can put the meatloaf in. Next, we'll get started on some carrots. Rob chopped the carrots up for us, and we are going to roast these in the oven as well. So he just tossed them with some butter and salt. And I'm going to toss them in the oven and change it to a two-level cooking. And it actually just went off, so I can check the temperature of the meatloaf, but I suspect it's probably not done yet. If you cut the carrots on an angle, they look fancy. Fancy carrots. So this thing's also wicked easy to use, because you don't even have to physically push a button. You can just touch the glass, and the button's like underneath there. So right now this burner, it's not a burner, but I'm going to call it a burner because I'm old-fashioned. The company calls it a crystal plate. That's fine, they can call it that. I'm going to call it a burner. This burner is locked, so I just hold the lock button until it beeps, that means it's unlocked. And then you hold the on button until it beeps, that means it's on. And then you can um, just hit function to turn it on to like power level, or you can maintain the pan temperature if you want to, but you have to have a pan on there, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So I usually just set a power level and I need to boil these potatoes. So I'm just gonna turn it like, not quite all the way up because we also have to use the oven. But this will get boiling pretty soon and then we can uh, drain them out and mash them. I'm gonna take the temperature of the meat loaf. 117. Looks like it said L11. Not cooked enough for 135. Still not cooked enough. So we're gonna let it go longer. And I'm gonna put the carrots in now. And then we'll change this to a two level cooking. And I need them on level three and one, which I have here. Meat is on three, carrots are on one. And now we wait. Back to the cooktop. One of the reasons we got this is because we didn't want any propane in the van. So this is electric and it's quite nice. It's not like a typical electric stove like you would find in a house. The induction um, works rather quickly. So it won't take very long and this pot of potatoes will be boiling. It's already getting warm. Our cooktop's made by Greystone, but when we were shopping for this, there was a few other models by different, they had different brands on them, uh, but they looked pretty much the same. I can't really speak to the quality of those, but I suspect that they're probably pretty much the same product, and they probably work pretty much the same. They had all the same features, the prices were just a little bit different. And I guess we gotta feed this guy, because he's getting mad. How do I even? It's so bright now. There we go. I can't. <coughs> can't make it smaller. The other alternative to a built in induction cooktop is to get a portable induction cooktop, which we considered. And then in that case, you could take the cooktop outside uh, if you have an outlet and cook outside, which would be great because the van gets pretty hot when we're cooking in here. You guys can tell I'm sweating. But then you have to have a storage space for it. So we liked the idea of just having a permanent spot in the counter for the cooking surface. And it works out great for us. Yeah. Just open the door to let the air out. If you have a portable cooktop, it essentially takes up twice as much space because you've got a storage space and a using it space. Yeah, you need empty counter space if you're using it inside. Well, this cooktop's sweet because 
we don't need to find another source of fuel like propane. Um, I think you, there probably exists a diesel-fired cooktop, um, but then we would have to run diesel lines, um, which would have been preferred, I think, over propane. But um, it's just easier to not even have to think about like what's our auxiliary fuel level. Like we just don't have any. We have batteries, and they're always full. And there's no open flame, which keeps it safe. Um, <clears throat> We don't have to worry about carbon monoxide inside here because there's no fire. Um, it does get warm because although the, the cooktop itself doesn't generate heat, it heats the pan that's on it and then because that's in contact and it's very close to the cooktop, it radiates some heat back into the glass top. So it does get warm, but it dissipates pretty quickly. I would say probably five or ten minutes after we're done cooking and we've got the pot off of there, it's like fine to touch with your hand. Um, and because it's a pretty strong glass, with the exception of scratches, which we alleviate by putting a placemat over it that's got a rubber backing, Loki can walk right across it because that's his move from that seat across the countertop into the bed, which is behind you guys. But if we had like a traditional burner style open flame cooktop, the surface of those <coughs> is not very flat. It's not good for walking on. Dog would get tripped up. And uh, this thing has no moving parts or loose parts, so it doesn't make any noise when we're driving, which is awesome. The potatoes are done. I hope that's cooked. Got that mashed. How much do you want? An amount. That amount? No, another one. That's pretty good. That's it? You're not having that much, are you? I'm not. This is your plate. <laughs> That's fine. Aside from me overcooking the carrots, the oven does a great job. You just have to watch the chef. It's not the oven's fault. Right. I just wasn't paying attention. Standard. But I think the loaf came out fine. How much do you want? It's pretty good. On camera it looks like a massive amount. It's just this thin slice. Thanks for watching our video and our unbiased review. We're not sponsored by these products. So, if you want to check them out, we'll put a link down below. But we're not affiliates or anything, so you can't get a discount. Sorry. Maybe someday when we're famous, then we can get an affiliate link for a discount code. But until that time, just keep coming back and watching more videos and then telling your friends to subscribe. Because if enough people subscribe, then we can make money and then we can give back with discount codes on stuff that we like. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.